It had been raining all night. It's been raining since I can remember. It's cold. The kind of cold gets into your bones and seeps deep into your soul. I always hated this place. The stench of bureaucracy and politics always made me feel sick. The pen pushing suit monkeys had called me in to talk about an undercover case I'd been working on for the past two years. I had a feeling there was more to it than just that. Police, Robin, take a seat. If it's all the same, we'll stand. I don't plan on being here all that long. Okay, Detective Byrne. Have it your way. I'll get straight to the point. It didn't take long for Flynn to spill the beans. He'd been given the push from the big brass upstairs to hand my case over to the itchy finger DS morons. Believe me, Detective Byrne. I've done everything I could to keep you involved in this case. I'm sorry, Flynn. I don't believe that. Well, whatever you believe. If I were you, I'd stay out of the DS's way. You know how they can be. If you were me, you'd have a spine. I wasn't done yet. I had one more hand to show before this game was finished. Spider Clancy was a real piece of work. Pretty much ran everything that was illegal in the city. The DS would take him in on some bullshit drug charge. He'd walk in a few weeks. Two weeks ago, Clancy had a little argument with a business partner, Anna O'Boyle, over some money he felt he was owed. Using his aggressive, persuasive ways, he left her in hospital, feeding through a straw. Lucky for me, Anna just so happened to be the wife of Johnny O'Boyle, who up until then was Clancy's right-hand man. If I could convince Johnny to stand up in court against Clancy, the scumbag would be going down for a very long time. Damn. No answer. I'd have to find Johnny before Clancy could get his meat hooks into him. I couldn't think of any better place to start looking than right into the belly of the beast. Not you, Robin. You stay. He's got an What's he saw about? Do you think I'm stupid? Do you think I wouldn't find out? What the fuck are you talking about? You're a pig. You're a scumbag pig. Frankie, go watch the door. Go let anyone in. Oh, fuck. Seth and Robin here. We're gonna have a little chat. Hey, Robin. You better have all the right answers for me. Frank, you only told I told you to... Okay, then, ask Clancy. If this is about that little thing with John, what? You see it on your knees. You don't have to do this, Johnny. Shut the fuck up, Robin. You don't want to get sent down for this rat. Don't listen to that pig, skull. If you help me, you'll never see the light of day. Do you swear? I promise you. Okay, I'll do it. Bravo team in position, setting charge. Bravo team, stop moving. Door breach. Bravo team, moving in. Everyone face down, hands where I can see them, hands where I can see them. Prime suspect secure, request dispatch for fatality location. Hey Robert, looks like I'll be seeing you in a few weeks. Raining. Scumbags like Spider Clancy never seem to receive the justice they deserve. It's always brainwashed lapdogs that pay the price. 
So, is this to be the end of the story? Or just the beginning of the next chapter?